Lancashire's Glen Chapel rolled back the years after Alvaro Peterson and Ashwell Prince both missed out on triple hundreds after taking their third wicket partnership to a record smashing 501 on the second day of the LV County Championship match with Glamorgan at Colwyn Bay. This incredible stand between the two South Africans had already put on 321 runs when the second morning of this match began with the visitors on 425 for two and there was no sign of anything other than yet more punishment for the Glamorgan attack. Prince was soon adding plenty to his overnight 154 while Peterson, who resumed his innings on 205, continued to make the art of batting seem like the easiest thing in the world. These two had soon recorded the highest ever partnership for any wicket for Lancashire in their long history, overtaking the 371 registered for the second wicket by Frank Watson and Ernest Tilsley against Surrey at Old Trafford way back in 1928. It was also the most conceded by Glamorgan and it had by no means finished yet. Prince got bored of hitting fours and so he added a third six to the 27 fours he'd already struck to move into the 190s. Before he got to 200, his partner was celebrating his 250. This his 34th four from his 334th delivery. In the same over, the 81st since the last wicket, Prince eased the ball from Andrew Salter into the covers to register his own double hundred off his 230th delivery. 29 fours and three sixes had been struck. The boundaries between these two at this stage reading 63 fours and four sixes. It was the batsman's second double ton in what has been an extraordinary summer for him. Prince then smashed his next two balls for more fours before lifting the next delivery over mid-wicket for another maximum. By lunch, the score read 566 for two. The partnership now at 462, and there was still no letter for the home attack after the break. In fact, Prince chose now to really play some shots. Craig Mishada and David Lloyd were both clubbed into the distance as Prince got to his 250 and then went beyond the 257 he made last season against Northamptonshire as the best score of his career. But the ball after doing that and bringing up the 500 run partnership stopped the clocks as this happened. Prince now on 261, miss hit one and hold out to Salter off Lloyd. Glamorgan had a wicket after 89 overs of trying. Prince left with 1,311 championship runs this season and then Lloyd also removed Peterson for 286. Of course, another career best as he picked out Michael Hogan just inside the rope. Lancashire were hardly in trouble after that, however. The total on 625 for four and now James Faulkner and Stephen Croft laid into an attack which must have wanted to get as far away from this pitch as possible. Both brought out the long handle and added 73 more runs in a dozen overs to take the score right on the edge of 700. The declaration coming at 698 for five when Faulkner was out for 21, leaving Croft unbeaten on 57. So how on earth do you go about batting against a total like that? I guess the only answer to that is to ignore the scoreboard and bat as normal, although that must be easier said than done. Jack Rudolph was probably just hoping he could get somewhere close to matching his fellow countrymen. Chapel had been included in this side for just a second time this year and in his third over, the 41-year-old dragged one back to bowl Rudolph for 32. Runs made out of an opening stand of 35. A similar delivery in his next over just caught the edge of Colin Ingram's bat to send him on his way for a duck. And when, after tea, Chapel showed off all of his skills to cut one back to bowl the shotless Chris Cook, Glamorgan were left on 60 for three. That became 70 for four when Will Bragg was bang in front to Faulkner for 25. Chapel came off with figures of three for 27 from an 11 over spell broken up by the tea break and with him out of the attack, batting did become a little easier. There had of course been a lot of talk about the flatness of this surface, but what we had now was back to something touching normality. Mark Wallace and Lloyd up at number five added 54 for the fourth wicket. But on 21, Lloyd cut the fourth ball of Aaron Lilly's spell to Kyle Jarvis. 
Mercedes decided that he would chance his arm when he came in, with his side on 124 for five, the target to avoid the follow-on, a mere 549. Twice the Somerset Loney cleared the rope in successive overs from Jarvis and Lilly as he made a speedy 21. Simon Kerrigan then got involved as Mercedes clipped him to Faulkner with a shot from a man who looked tired, rather unsurprisingly. Another extraordinary day ended with Graham Wagg smashing the penultimate ball out of the ground and we can probably expect more of the same on day three. Glamorgan will start it on 165 for six, which has them 533 runs behind, with Wallace still there on 39. Quite how they get themselves out of this mess from here is anybody's guess.